Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market prep video for July 2nd, 2020. So yesterday we had the NASDAQ reaching out to all time new highs and we saw the Dow and IWM pull back slightly. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, and let's get ready for the Thursday edition, which is just as good as a Friday edition this week of the morning market prep video. So this morning, um, as we face a market early market closure today in observance of the 4th of July holiday, it's all bulls all the time. We're gapping up big time here this morning in anticipation of um, rehiring numbers that could um, hit all time records based on, um, well, since the number has been recorded. Uh, consensus estimates are suggesting 3 million folks were rehired last month, gapping, uh, and everyone is anticipating a, um, a big positive number on that. Um, the, the numbers that are remain unemployed don't seem to matter. Um, it's all bulls all the time right now. And what we've been kind of joking about in the, in the right way options trading room is good news is, or excuse me, bad news is good news and good news is excellent news. Um, in this market. Um, so while we hit new record highs in the NASDAQ yesterday, we also hit new record daily highs of coronavirus infections. So kind of an interesting situation that we're dealing with here in the market. And I suspect, I suspect um, this rampant bullishness will end here relatively soon um, as we kind of come to grips with what these new shutdowns and states rolling back um, reopenings actually means. Right now, it's just a ravenous appetite. There seems to be no price that's too high on some of these stocks uh, for folks to want to buy. So let's take a look at the technicals here in the chart and let's see what we've got going on. Diamonds, as you can see, diamonds, we did break that upside trend and we're up here testing the upside of that this morning we're looking at a gap up open looking to push this market back higher as you can see right now we're looking about a 250 point gap up open that may put us right back up in here to test um, that 500 day or even that 200 day moving average in the Dow chart. But let's keep in mind, we are still under those averages. We still have this longer term uh, possible downtrend in play and our shorter term downtrend may be breached today with this upside gap. So let's watch that carefully. A little bit of back and forth here in the market. Technicals um, remain somewhat bullish here in the Dow with the prices staying above the 50 day moving average and we're holding some price support in here nicely. So as we continue to just ravenously buy stocks um, at, at any price, one has to wonder with the with the coming earnings um, season, one has to wonder if we can actually support these prices um, with earnings. It'll be an interesting thing to watch as we move forward into this quarter. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY squeaked out a positive win yesterday, up by 70 cents. And we're pushing up into this short-term downtrend here in the chart. So we came up here and tested, tried to poke through, didn't quite get her done. But this morning we're going to gap up. Um, everyone's happy this morning. Um, bulls pushing everywhere we can, pushing back up. Let's keep in mind, though, even as we push up, that we still have these resistance levels in the chart to consider um, overall. And let's also make note of the fact that we have broken that upside trend. So 
keep that in mind if we slam into that resistance and pull back it really wouldn't be a massive surprise and we also have this longer term downtrend that we are still challenged by in the chart so keep that in mind as we move forward in this day and uh, kind of keep in mind that we have an early shutdown today in the market and volumes will likely drop very very quickly today after we get these news events so kind of keep that in mind mind um, if you're thinking about rushing in or getting that feeling of missing out rushing into this market just keep in mind that we could see volumes drop extremely rapidly today um, with everyone heading out to take advantage of the long weekend and then also keep in mind that three-day weekend anything is possible out there let's take a look at the cues the nasdaq ripping the cover off of the ball here um, closing at new record highs and we are gapping higher once again this morning being led um, mostly by uh, Microsoft Microsoft um, new record highs here in Microsoft and Amazon um, ripping to new record highs which does make some sense considering coronavirus and the fact that they are a major beneficiary of the shopping um, as coronavirus continues to surge around the country so we're looking at opening Amazon at a new record high this morning as well as those tech stocks continue to do the majority of lifting in the market let's take a look at um, the technicals here of the queues all bulls all the time we've broke through um, that resistance high um, last year um, brand new records trends continue to hold here in the Nasdaq um, no one wants to sell anything it's just buy no matter what price um, and just continue to buy um, here in the Nasdaq in IWM a little bit different story yesterday we saw a little bit of selling and this morning we're getting a gap up uh, to test those highs of yesterday and let's keep in mind that on um, IWM we are are still challenged by that 200 day moving average keep in mind we failed here at the 500 we failed here at the 200 and then we've had these lower highs so although we're pushing up here this morning I wouldn't read a tremendous amount of bullishness into that chart just yet um, realizing that we have still um, have that broken uptrend and a bit of a downtrend still in play here on that short-term chart so kind of keep that in mind as we roll into this long weekend let's take a look at the VIX the VIX did pull back nicely yesterday we did drop below that 30 handle which is a nice thing to see we are still holding the the lows of this um, uh, uptrend break or excuse me downtrend break so we broke that downtrend we rallied back up and now we're pulling back and this morning I suspect we're going to get a substantial gap down in the VIX based on what we see we could be back down here testing that 200 day moving average so let's watch that closely fear um, it's remarkable to me um, that we don't care about coronavirus and the, and the shutdowns. Um, it is just truly remarkable to me that this is going on. But um, whether I understand it or not, my job is to follow the price action of the chart. And that's exactly what I've been doing and um, continuing to trade in this market. Um, as we continue to rally up so keep that in mind um, this could shift or change at any time really quickly um, but let's just stay with the market direction as long as the market wants to continue to rally let's take a look at t2122 t2122 is the four week new high new low ratio and whoops wrong chart we have an interesting situation here where we have gone from um completely um uh, into into the bullish reversal zone i suspect this morning we will up here be right up here again in the bearish reversal zone um as we continue this wild volatility whipping back and forth in the market um who knows what comes next 
Um, T2122 does not give us a directional assumption. It just tells us when we've kind of reached extremes, and I suspect we'll be reaching that extreme. This morning, we were up here yesterday at one point in time on the gap up and then pulled back. So we should be well up into this bearish reversal zone first thing this morning on this gap up open. Um, T2101, the absolute breadth indicator, really kind of displays the problem that we have going on here in the market, I think quite well. And that is as the market continues to surge back higher, notice that the breadth of the market continues to decline. We are rapidly falling, as a matter of fact, in breadth, meaning that there are fewer and fewer companies um, getting uh, the lift here in the market. So keep that in mind. If we do reverse, if we do find sellers, if those bears step in, we could see a real quick sell off if that occurs when we have um, a market breadth falling like this against such a wild rally to the upside. So just keep that in mind. Just a little warning out there that if we do start to turn, we could see that turn happen quickly and it could be rather brutal. So watch out for that possibility. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Our economic calendar. We're busy, busy, busy morning today on that calendar. As you can see here, we have the employment situation number. This is the one that everybody is keying off of right now. That employment situation could hit a new record um, since the number has been recorded of rehirings, about 3 million folks being rehired last month, which is wonderful, but that doesn't solve the problem of the 40 million people still unemployed. Um, but we're choosing to take any news as good news right now. And that is good news. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just that um, these are historic numbers that have been going on and the market is choosing to ignore anything that is uh, is just not good. We're just buying everything that we can. So unemployment situation number looks like it will be a good positive number today. And uh, estimates are around 3 million folks were rehired um, last month. International trading good co goods comes right after that. And jobless claims were expecting about um, a million four, uh, one point four million filing for unemployment last month. The last two weeks they have missed on that estimate. And we have seen a higher number of claims than what the estimates um, were. So hopefully this one comes closer because um, right now, um, if that were to be um, a, a miss on that number, we could see uh, that selling come in on that. So watch that closely. Um, again, good numbers are great, are good. Um, bad numbers are, are good. Um, so anything is possible here this morning. So let's watch this pretty closely. Um, factory orders then at 10 o'clock, I suspect by about 10 o'clock, we're going to see volumes in the market just cavitate. Um, traders will be heading out to take advantage of the early shutdown in the market today. Remember, um, market closes 2 p.m. Eastern time today, and then we are closed tomorrow uh, for the three-day weekend and the holiday. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar. We do have a few on the earnings calendar today. There's seven companies reporting, but I gotta be honest, really not much in there that would be particularly notable today. Um, we have a KFY reporting today. Um, you can see the really wide bid-ass spread so far this morning. We're awaiting that report um, and nothing um, so far in there. Um, what I will say is the stock has been trending up and we had a nice little move up in anticipation of those earnings. So we'll have to wait and see what goes on there. And um, my calendar is showing Jeffries um, could be possibly reporting today. Um, we might want to keep an eye on that. You can see we have a big large bid ass spread here as well spreading out so keep an eye on Jeffries this morning other than that really not much um, in that earnings calendar to uh, be particularly noteworthy
Let's take a uh, quick look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up. And if you feel that these videos are worthy at all, please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment. That helps us continue to grow the channel. And I just want to say thanks to everyone. I, I honestly would have never expected that, you know, I'm uh, looking at 13,000 subscribers. I never would have expected there'd be that many people that would pay attention um, to videos like this. So I truly want to say thank you very much to everyone who does uh, take the time to do those things and supports the channel and the content. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys mean the world to me. Thank you very, very much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that are setting up and a few things that you might want to keep an eye on. Now, one thing that I mentioned is uh, with the coronavirus uh, rallying like it is, it seems like there's been a real move toward corona related stocks. Um, take a look at Grubhub. Grubhub has been trying really hard to break out up here. Grubhub is a major beneficiary of coronavirus and has been this entire time. And although we had a little tiny pullback yesterday, we might want to keep an eye on this. That's really a fairly good consolidation in here. Grubhub could push on out with folks trying to buy um, their food at home and uh, with more and more restaurants being closed and uh, things like that around the country. So keep an eye on that chart looking rather interesting. Also take a look at some of the gaming stocks. Gaming stocks just took off yesterday. Um, they have been consolidating. We talked about this um, in yesterday's video to keep an eye on these. And as you can see, that nice little consolidation right in here broke big time yesterday as EA popped out. You could say the same for Activision. Activision just plowed on through this consolidation high here. Really beautiful bullish candle and is looking to open even higher here this morning. So Activision uptrend looking strong here today. And TTWO, Take-Two Interactive, a big pop up yesterday um, as coronavirus um, stocks and entertainment type stocks really seem to move strongly to the upside. So keep an eye on Take-Two trying to move on up in and, uh, the chart looking pretty darn strong. You might also want to take a look at stocks like um, um, Cisco. Cisco did not get the move yesterday that I was hoping. And by the way, I do hold this just for uh, full disclosure here, I do hold Cisco. Looking at this little rally and looking at a downtrend here that we broke and we're trying to hold this area in here support. Watch for that next opportunity for this to pop up out of here. If techs are going to remain strong, uh, maybe Cisco can find a can finally start moving along and they had a really good earnings report. See if they can uh, start moving along. And this is another one of those beneficiaries of coronavirus because they are responsible for a good deal of the meeting streaming technologies that we have nowadays that have allowed companies to continue to produce. And so um, they're looking for um, a really strong quarter looking forward um, as more and more companies move to that streaming uh, platform, keeping folks at home um, from work. So keep an eye on that. Looking pretty good. Take a look at eBay. eBay continuing to move higher. Another big winner in Corona land here um, as folks are purchasing from home more than ever. And so we have eBay rallying up strongly here, continuing to move um, up. I don't know that I would chase this. I'd probably watch and wait for the next rest or pullback in here for that opportunity to follow that trend higher, but eBay showing lots and lots of strength here um, overall. Um, also, take a look at um, Bed Bath & Beyond. Now, I don't know what inspired Bed Bath & Beyond. This was kind of a, uh, well, this was an ugly company for a long, long time. Um, and suddenly we have 
just embraced Bed Bath & Beyond here in this chart and moving up sharply. And as you can see, breaking through resistance highs, consolidating that move. We want to watch for that next opportunity to move higher in that chart, looking pretty darn good overall. So keep an eye on stocks like that. Last but not least uh, today, um, take a look at Clorox. Clorox, obviously a beneficiary of coronavirus. You can see it's been rallying strongly as folks look for um, ways to sanitize their home and hands and everything. Um, Clorox doing very, very well. And you can see breaking out to um, these new highs showing some strength here. So keep an eye on Clorox still moving up nicely. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits in your trading. And please, everyone, on this holiday, be safe. Um, make sure you're following the guidelines. Don't uh, you know, from what we have seen, the folks who have said it, you know, if you get this virus, it's it's something you want to avoid if you can. So please remain safe. Take care of yourself and your family. And I'll see you all right back here bright and early Monday morning after a three day weekend. Everyone take care. Be safe. We'll see you Monday. Have a good one.